Hey, hey, this is Eric with Pro Fantasy Gaming, and we are going over some of Windows 10's mistakes slash errors when you boot up from upgrading from Windows 7 or Windows 8. Um, I would like to go over this because right now one of these errors does not exist for a fix. Can't find a fix for it. So no matter how much you want to search for it, um, you're going to end up pulling your hair out um, a lot, um, searching for a fix for hours in doubt. Um, and what will end up happening is 99% of everybody is reinstalling Windows. Um, we don't want to really reinstall Windows because we want to keep our programs, our files, our documents and so forth like that without having to reinstall our programs and move our files back over from our external drives and so forth. So let's try to keep everything and see what happens. So first let me show you what I'm talking about. If you try to type down here, you notice it just it won't let me. If you go to your Firefox or Microsoft Edge, um, it will not let you type anything. It will freeze on you. So um, this will do it with Skype. Um, I think it it won't do it with notepad so it just depends on the program um, but most programs will freeze up just like that and you'll have to end the process or um, X out and close it shut it down so what we're gonna do is this Windows icon on the bottom left we're going to right click it and go to our task manager and we're gonna go under the process tab scroll down Depending on what kind of motherboard and so forth you have, um, for me I have the X99, the, the high performance uh, LGA 2011, um, blah blah blah. Um, so I have Bluetooth on it. Um, and if you open up this right here, tray application, that's the one we're looking for. If you end the tray application a miracle will happen look at that oh, I can type again if I go to my Firefox look at that and it does not freeze it's amazing so I can now type so it's great so that's how you fix that um, if you don't have this certain kind of motherboard but you have Bluetooth or so forth I would recommend going through your process tree and seeing which program it is that's not compatible with Windows 10 on installing it try to get uh, the new uh, Windows 10 version and installing it so and that will fix it so if you don't can't find an upgrade I suggest you find a new Bluetooth um, program to uh, software hardware um, so you can have Bluetooth on your Windows 10 um, computer so uh, make sure it's compatible and so forth um, so that is that that's how we fix the stupid typing freezing air with Windows 10 from upgrading and you can stop pulling your hair out a fix is finally finally out there um, for the next one every now and then um, you get a error when you boot up that you've lost a file uh, of some kind or it's, it's not working properly basically and this one happens to be an Azure setup error when you boot up from Windows 10. And sometimes you get more than one. Sometimes you'll get multiple errors at once on the, on your screen. And the fix is the same same for all of them. Um, there are some other fixes I've noticed that are out there for fixing the registry and doing a lot of complicated stuff um, that could basically break your computer um, so you're risking a little bit 
Um, this, there's really no risk. So this is the easiest, simplest, safest one out of, uh, out of all of them. So um, basically it's the same thing. You right click your Windows, go to your Task Manager. This will open up. Um, you find your Details tab. And you're looking for this this window right here, Azure Setup. We're going to filter it by name, alphabetical order, and go to the Azure Setup. There it is. So if you have more than one, each one will have a title right there on the top left-hand corner. You just find it. If there are a whole bunch of Azure Setup errors, there will be a whole bunch of windows there. And there will be a whole bunch of Azure Setup uh, running right here, more than one. So you'll just right click it and you're going to open file location. Um, you can't just delete it because it won't let you. So that won't work. You can create a folder on your desktop. A new folder, just right click and new folder. I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to do that one. <laughs> Just in case though. Um, and from there, we're going to cut it, select them all, cut all the Azurus ones out, and we're going to paste it. We're going to check mark this, do this for all current items, hit continue. And now it's gone from here and into this new folder. Um, when you restart Windows now, these errors will be gone. They won't exist. You'll boot up nice and clean Windows. It'll be so nice a relief, I'm sure. Um, you can keep it in the new folder, move your new folder to your C drive or whatever, name it whatever you want. Um, or you can just, now that it's in the new folder, away from the drive, you can delete it. So. Whichever you like to do, however you want, wherever you want to stash it or don't stash it, it's up to you. So that fixes that errors. So if you have any questions or anything like that, um, please leave it on the comment below and hit that like button and subscribe. All right, that'd help a lot. A lot. This is Pro Fantasy Gaming. This is Eric, and I will catch you guys later.